can go. Okay. Good evening. It's 7 p.m. on October 14th, 2021. Zoning Board of Appeals scheduled meeting. We will roll call for members present. David Potter. Rudy Sadowski. Adam Sekulowski. Alex Hershenrider. Jennifer Remillard. Okay. Good evening. We have a quorum, so we will uh, we'll continue. Uh, we have the old minutes that need approval. Um, I'll make a motion to approve them as listed on the agenda. Um, as long as the um, recording of the meeting is included in the minutes. A second. Okay, second by Bernie Sadowski. All those in favor? Hold on. I get John. Oh, John. Yep. John, if you could unmute and uh, do the roll call for your presence. I am present. Last I checked. Okay. Uh, John, we're entertaining. I made a motion to approve the old minutes as listed on the agenda um, and and have them include the um, recordings of each minute, each meeting as part of those minutes. And that motion was seconded by Mr. Sadowski. Is there any discussion? And have any discussion on the minutes? Um, I just... I, if you need me to vote to have a quorum or whatnot, I can only vote on three of them because I wasn't a ZBA member or an alternate um, for the other ones from 2020 before, uh, before the March or February minutes. Yeah. And, and I would, I don't, I would need, I don't think we can do it in an omnibus manner because I know I wasn't there for some meetings and I can't vote on those minutes. Okay. So technically would have a quorum, right? Do we have a quorum? No. Quorum. Well, it depends on which one. Now we got to break it down here. Oh, well, yeah, but I think that the, okay, it, it depends meeting by meeting, right? I think we're going to take them one at a time and we might have a quorum for that meeting. Uh, Is that what you're saying? Well, yeah, I mean, we definitely, I can with. Draw my motion, and Mr. Slavsky can withdraw his second, and I can start by the most recent date and work our way back. Withdraw. Are, are, would, would these guys be able to vote and just abstain from me? Uh, we can do it this way. It's just a little bit cleaner. No, but I'm saying if you go individually, mm -hmm. are they allowed to vote tonight on meetings that they weren't at and just abstain? And then we fulfill a quorum on that vote. I hear what you're saying. I think I'm going to kind of do it that way. Okay, great. All right, so the motion's been withdrawn and the second's been withdrawn. I'll make a motion to approve the meeting minutes on the 9th of yeah. September 2021. You know something, Adam? Uh, you know, unless anybody has an issue with, um, with, the, with the minutes, maybe I would make a motion that, uh, and I don't know how Jennifer would feel about this, rather than go through each one, is uh, to move to approve all the minutes, but only to cast votes in favor for the people who weren't there for the ones that they attended and just not go one by one and have to look at which one we attended and which one we didn't and all of that. And just, uh, just but is that too confusing? If that is, we can just go back to the other way. That's, that's fine. Well, here's the, here's the problem. We got uh, Bob Decker's not here. And so if you weren't at a meeting and David wasn't yet appointed, then we only get three. Yep. We need to have a quorum of four from my understanding. So oh. I... <clears throat> I don't know why some of these weren't approved, but in the past, but I'm just trying to, is I don't it, know. I mean, it's, it's not I don't, that we pass these. Is it better to wait till we have a full quorum and then we don't have to worry about all this stuff? Well, I mean, I figure we can at least approve the ones from last month. Okay. Whatever. So if my, you know, and we can put it on, <laughs> we can put it on the agenda for next month and uh, 
I can get a role. Yeah. You know, I can get the, why didn't you guys do this at the meeting question? And I said, well, we didn't. So, um, but, uh, all right. So, well, I, I well, Mr. Chair. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, if we go over these, look, I'm looking at nine. Yeah. Right? Last month. Right. I mean, they're here. So we just go through them. But it, it doesn't really make much difference. Whatever's going to be easiest for us, for you. I, I, I don't, I mean, minutes are minutes. I don't know why they even have to be approved. I mean, I guess they have to be approved in case there's mistakes, but you know, I'm pretty sure everybody was all appointed and everything. I don't, cause the, uh, October 8th was, that was, I think dollar general. So we were all here. Yeah. Um, except maybe some in the middle, but, uh, well, Let's let's just try to get some of this housekeeping out of the way. I'm going to go go with the uh, make. It, I made a motion to approve the minutes for nine nine twenty twenty one. I second that motion. Okay. David Potter second it. We had some discussion. Is there any more discussion on that? Call for a vote. I guess. I will take a vote on the. Uh, approval of the 9 9 2021 minutes. David Potter, yes. Yep. Rory Sadowski, yes. Adam Sikowski, yes. John. I'm trying to find those on my computer and I can't, I just want to make sure I was there. If I was there, Remillard I'm a yes. Okay. Jennifer Remillard, yes. Yep. Okay, thank you. Anybody, anybody know which one it is in the. Uh, of uh, the PDFs because they're not really labeled. Hold on a second. See if I can pull it up from Sue's email. I'm looking for them because it's the way. Which one are you looking for? The September 21st ones. They're, they're labeled as far as I can see. Yeah, they're, they're labeled right here. Titled with the date, ZBA minutes 9921. Really, on my, on my uh, email, they don't come up. They're all just minutes, minutes, minutes. So I It can't was go. emailed to everyone, if it's a blanket email, from Sue on September 22nd at 826 a.m., if that helps you. Oh, I have the email. I'm just uh, there. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sets of minutes. And I just wanted to verify that I was there before I vote on it. And I don't know uh, in the set. on the last one uh, here that we just voted on. Okay, nine, it has you I, present. Mm -hmm. I find it. I found it as the last one in the in the group, uh, and I am there, so I will vote yes. Okay. All right, so those minutes are approved for 9-9-2021. And we have... Uh, I keep putting more of these in here. All right. March 11th, I make a motion to approve the minutes for the meeting held on Thursday, March 11th, 2021 at 6 p.m. A second. Okay. Those present, just so we know, Bernie Sadowski was the chair at the time, Robert Decker the third, myself, John Staberski, David Potter, Alex, and Jennifer Remillard. And um, <clears throat> this was the meeting where we spoke with uh, Dale Whitney at 250 Greenfield Road, um, as well as uh, it has the executive session with Mr. Costa. And continue discussion with that, as well as the uh, hearing at 9 Greenfield Road for uh, SACs and signs. I'll second that motion if it hasn't been seconded. <clears throat> It, yeah, it was seconded. Uh, it's, I'm ready to vote on it, unless anybody else has anything on those minutes. Oh. Uh, I vote in favor. David Potter. Okay. Bruce Zerowski, yes. Adam Sikowski, yes. 
John Staberski, yes. Jennifer Remillard, yes. Um, and I guess I'll vote yes. I don't, yep. We don't need it for the. No, it's fine. All right, the next set of minutes, I'll make a motion to approve her from Thursday, October 8th, 2020, 6 p.m. Members present. Well, there's a mistake right here on these. Uh oh. So, we got Bernie's name spelled on. I can uh, approve with that change. All right. Members present Bernie Sadowski, Robert Decker, Adam Sokolowski, John Staberski. Alex Hirschenreiter, David Potter. Continuation of the public hearing on Dollar General. And that was pretty much the whole operation. I move that we approve the minutes. I will. Uh, so I made a motion. Do you want to second that or do you want to make? I'll second it with the uh, with the change on Bernie's name. Okay. Uh, any discussion? Okay. All those in favor? David Potter, aye. Um, Ray Sadowski, yes. Adam Sikulowski, yes. John Staberski, yes. Okay. Next one we got here is Thursday, December 10th. Members present. Uh, same spelling mistake there. Uh, Bernie Sadowski, Robert Decker, Adam Sokolowski, John Staberski, Kathy Felton, Alex Hirschenreiter. Um, public hearing for one steam mill road. We held that. And the uh, hearing for the uh, aromatic fillers in the old Volvo shop there. And on that aromatic fillers, John, it indicates doesn't it indicate that you did not vote on that. Yep, I did not. No. So, can you go to the beginning? Yep. Hmm. Did I? It, he was present for this, but I think you're present here. Present for that one. You recused yourself, John, for the iron fillers. I know. I had to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I didn't. So, I didn't separate that out. Okay. All right. So we'll hold on these minutes until we get four voting members on on that one because they're all. I can't. I don't want to approve half a set of minutes. Sure. And Wednesday, December 9th minutes. Let's see here. Probably the same spelling error. Yeah, nope, nope, not on this one. So, this one here was uh, review mail. It's more Dollar General stuff. Looks like the whole meeting was that. So present was Bernie Sadowski, Robert Decker, myself, John Staberski, Alex Hirschenreiter, and David Potter. And I will make a motion to approve Wednesday, December 9th, 2020 at 6 p.m. That meeting's minutes. Seconded. Okay, it's been seconded. All those in favor? David Potter, yes. Bernie Sadowski, yes. Adam Sokolowski, yes. John Staberski, yes. <clears throat> so we got 
Wednesday, February 3rd, 2021. We got uh, Bernie was present, Mr. Decker, myself, John Slaversky, David Potter, Alex Hirschenreiter, Jim Remillard. Continued deliberation on a special permit application for Dollar General. And that was about the whole meeting. It was the Dollar General stuff. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes on Wednesday, February 3rd, 2021. I'll second that. Okay. Any discussion? All those in favor of those minutes? David Potter, yes. Bernie Sadowski, yes. Adam Sokolowski, yes. Jennifer Remillard, yes. Sorry, John. John, John Stabersky, yes. Sorry. Okay. Jennifer okay. Remillard, yes. Okay. All right. So we got through that. Old business application process. Um, I just saw that Alex sent a meeting or an email to me before the meeting to forward to everyone. Um, do you have copies there that you printed out, Alex? Um, I have one copy. <laughs> um, um, yeah, we can make some more. Uh, we just didn't know who was going to be in person and who was yep. going to be on the computer, you know. I'm sending it out right now. Sorry, I didn't see it before. No, it's, it's a blind it's carbon right. copy, so it shouldn't be a violation. And I blind CC'd Sue, so she has a yep. copy of that. Um, Thank you. How do you want to make? Yeah, if you want to go make a couple copies, you can. Copies. Yeah, that would be great. It's I know Bernie. I don't have one. No, I don't. I, yeah, two more copies. Yeah. Steve probably has them. Do you want a hard copy or do you want to? Uh, I can probably see it here. It's fine. Okay. I just emailed it out. So um, it's from jr at deerfield.life. Mm -hmm. Who's that? Is that you, Jenna? Deerfield.life? Yeah, I, I, uh, Lily Dwight has like a thing, a server thing that she helped the, for the town emails, I guess. I know Anna Lee uses one, so I have one now. So I'm using oh. that. I'm using that one now. Um, just so that way there's no uh, issues with emails and Happy jazz. You know that stuff. So thank you. It is received by me. So Alex, could I ask you? Um, what I what I am reading is that something that you're you expect to be giving to applicants because it looks kind of well, like the introduction. I'm just a couple sentences into it. Sounds like it's is this? Am I reading it to know that this is something to be given to applicants, or is this for us? Or um, he, he's making copies, John. Yeah. But I, I'm under that impression. Okay. Well. Originally, we were supposed to be discussing the documents that were handed out. I think it was in August meeting. Um, mm -hmm. And there was a, an outline with that. And it was to get everyone's feedback from the rules and regulations portion or the rules um, from Springfield and Worcester's temp template. I think it might have been Worcester. There was also Westfield um, that we had been looking at. So I haven't seen this particular document yet. So I don't know what Alex is um working on with this okay because originally we had wanted feedback from everyone on the other piece so i think he might have taken some of the documents um information and just plugged it in
Get the candy I dropped off the PD. No, I didn't work today. No, it was yesterday. Uh, we must have eat it all. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, I. Yeah, no, I've got uh, no. I'm not really a candy guy. I know I don't look it. Okay. <laughs> I'm not really a candy guy. It was at Hershey, so I got you guys some candy for lunch at my house. <laughs> so, yeah. I got. I didn't uh, copy everything. Oh, that's fine. I got it on the email now, so I copied just. I didn't bring my bigger screen, but I'm good. Alex, uh, you're probably going to yeah. have to put this up on the screen too, so the public can see what it is. Okay. Alex, I finished it. It's a nice job. I have a couple couple comments, but I think you you it, it looks good. Thank you. Um, so uh, sorry to kind of drop this on everybody at the last minute. Um, well, it's, unfortunately, it's the only time you can drop this on us is at the last minute. That's, that's true. <laughs> um, I've been a little backed up with school, and I was hoping to do something and then email it out. Um, but essentially this is just cutting and pasting um, things from the site plan review and just changing it over to the special permit um, with the exception of the introduction um, and then just kind of going through and changing, you know, where it says site plan review to um, special permit or uh, planning board to zoning board. Um, I think in the copies that I just gave you guys, I don't think they're all color. Um, but you can see here um, just there are a few parts that are in red. Um, things that I didn't know or wasn't 100% sure of um, or in this particular page on um, the app applicant expectations. That was something that Jen and I um, found in Springfield and thought would be helpful to include. Um, and we can talk about these whenever. Um, let's see. Again, it's just a straight copy of the site plan review. Um, so here, I started working on the flow chart. Um, I, I don't know why it's so uh, grainy. Um, I was working in Illustrator and I was hoping that the quality would be a lot better, but it's not. 
Um, and again, this I just went through and changed, um, you know, a few things to where it said planning board, the zoning board. Um, you know, we can go through all that and, you know, change uh, individual items. Um, so here, another point um, Jen and I were discussing was the application fee and whether we should um, increase it to 150 or create some sort of, um, you know, fee structure based on the project, sort of like how the site plan is done. Um, you know, it's like a flat rate and then some number of dollars based on the square footage that's disrupted. Um, Alex, if I, if I could get, make my, put my two cents in, I would think there would be one fee for residents, say keep it at a hundred bucks, but if it's a commercial, like a Dollar General or a Treehouse, that it is a much larger fee, um, sure. 250 or 500 and not worry about whether it's X amount of square feet or not, just define it residential or commercial. We talked about that. I think you were not at the meeting, John. Al Adam suggested or we had talked about having it a sliding scale fee um, based on that part. Because um, I had also handed out an outline a couple of meetings ago with uh, a bunch of that information on it. So, but it doesn't look like you incorporated everything that we went over into this new one. Um, is this the three separate documents or is this one? Uh, so do you mean three separate as in one for the special permit, one for the appeal, and one for the variance? Yeah. Uh, no, this is just one. This is just the special permit. Um, okay. So we'd have to go back and... I wasn't sure then it was further down, that's all. Uh, no. Um, I cut out quite a bit. Um, the one piece that I got back from staff, um, it was uh, Sue, was a time cutoff was really important. Um, and Jen, also, when I verbally had spoken to her brief at the beginning of this process, had mentioned timing was really important. So I'm just quickly scanning this. I don't see a time submission in here. I would just suggest adding that. Sure. Time for um, for the applicant to drop off the application to, to town hall. Yeah, so like if they want to be scheduled in September, then they should have, there should be an August date that they want to they want it for, right? That's kind of what you mean. Um, because it, like for example, and and this may not apply specifically to this specific application. But um, when there have been certain deadlines and it, it's you know, like their packet is due, um, it may not be the application, but the packet or whatnot that goes with it before the meetings that happen. And sometimes um, town staff don't have enough notification or have enough time yeah. to get everything ready. Um, so two o'clock, they liked that idea. Um, or, if, or if something, you know, is earlier. Jennifer, I'm not sure we can do that. Uh, Worcester and Springfield and Westfield do. Do they really? Yep. That was in the email. I blind carbon copied everyone during um, two, two ZBA meetings ago during the mm -hmm. session. If you didn't get that, I can resend it. But um, it was in that packet. There were a couple, there were like three documents included. And that was the Springfield one. I don't remember if it's Worcester or Westfield. I think it's Worcester. Um, and they, Worcester and Springfield have a deadline of a two, around 2 p.m. Um, to make sure that the staff has enough adequate time to get it to all the other departments it may need to go to uh, before it needs to go in front of the board. Great. That fits permissible. Yep. Uh, um, so that was, I mean, I love what you've done, Alex. I want, um, I think the other, the other I'll let you finish on this before I mention anything else. Okay. Yeah, no, um, I apologize for not adding anything um, in from the 
uh, document that you created. Um, this was sort oh, of, it was just an outline, so it's you know. Oh, I know. <laughs> um, this, this was just a quick um, try to clean up of what I had to just put out. Um, so here uh, you can see like the existing conditions and proposed conditions. This is sort of. It might be getting too in depth, but I think it would be helpful. Um, you know, if somebody just got this application, they didn't have access to the plans, they could kind of have an idea of what's going on. Um, I also added, maybe uh, we could just draw like a rectangle and here's the building and um, just a basic visual uh, drawing or something like that for people to fill out. Um, Let's see, the proposed use, uh, I think we could work on that. But again, just, you know, some uh, basic information to kind of quickly scan through, okay, this is what they're doing, this is what they're not doing. Um, and again, this, uh, the spacing and everything didn't, <laughs> I think I deleted some of the original spacing. Um, let's see, I think, I don't know if we talked about this or... It may be in the bylaws, but um, you know, new project created that's 4,000 square feet, um, a traffic study would be required. Um, don't know about that one. We talked about uh, that at the meeting um, amongst the group that they felt a traffic, or from my recollection, a traffic study was something that um, they wanted. Okay, awesome. So, yeah, I, I'm completely on board with that. Um, and here, um, I added a section so that people could start building a narrative um, in terms of um, describing some of the you know pros and cons to their project and why they believe that it's going to work within the community. Um, this the sentence in red, I didn't quite like the way I worded it, but if you guys read it, hopefully that um, we can come up with something better. Um, again, it was just trying to get the um, six criteria that we need to look at um, within the application. Um, what else? What else? Yeah, yeah, you know, if I just one, if you're gonna, if you're looking at this application while we're going through it, I would just give space with with each of those criteria for people to either handwrite or answer it on that application. I mean, I don't know if that's the intent that they present evidence or do you want them to fill that out prior to the hearing, how, how they intend to, uh, you know, offer evidence on those criteria. Um, I think it would be good to have it, you know, within the application ahead of time so um, we can kind of see where they're thinking and go from there. Um, so, so if, if that's the case, I would, you know, give a space for people to handwrite it in or type it in, you know, maybe four or five sentences or something like that. Yep, I can do that. Um, let's see. One of the things, Alex, that we had talked about before was making these fillable uh, documents and putting in on this particular part was the exact... Um, subsection and listing each of the six items next to each of their numbers from the bylaw and then putting the information underneath. So that way, um, when we got to that section, we could just per look it over really fast and then they could discuss more if they needed to at the hearing. Yeah. Um, this, uh, unfortunately, is still just a Word document. Um, I just quickly exported it as a PDF. I didn't quite get into the fillable portions of it yet. Um, okay, just a suggestion, because that was um, one of the things I think that everyone liked was if we made it fillable, it'd be easier for, um, for those who download it and then when it's saved um, and sent back, so that way, a lot more things might be more legible too for submissions. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, my handwriting isn't very good, so I can <laughs> completely understand. Um, let's see. 
So I didn't get to this checklist. Um, I know there was a few examples that we had, um, and I, I, I do like the way this is set up already, so we don't necessarily have to, you know, reinvent the wheel here. Um, but again, I just, you know, simple change from site plan to special permit, um, nothing crazy. Um, the nine copies, I think, Jen, we talked about this. 13 is what I have in my notes. Okay. I, I think that's what we was. came up with for all of the people to get an accurate number of them was 13. So all the offices that needed them got them. And then we also, I don't know if you have this in here, but a thumb drive or, yeah, okay, you have a CD. No, I didn't, I didn't have the thumb drive yet. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just looking at the form, um, you know, just looking here. Yeah, and then the other notation we made for this section would be, or it might be one of the uh, the back page, but if people didn't have um, access to the drawings, like if they were pre-digital aged or pre-2013, I think is the date we put in the outline, um, they could attach a drawing. Um, so I think you definitely want to give them more space than um, on the prior page, but you can maybe put the, okay, you've already got accompanying documents. So, um, yeah. Yeah, again, I haven't, I, I just barely edited um, some of these down further. Um, and it looks like some of these have been uh, updated since the site plan review. Um, bylaws changing. Um, I think um, we talked about the fee structure. And again, this is all the same. Actually, this is for the staff. Um, but yeah, so that's as far as I got. Um, I, I figured just to show this is where I'm at. and. We can discuss it. Well, I think it's a good draft, and I think the feedback's good. And the other thing that I think we got to make sure is that Sue and Jen are happy with with these things. So, oh, absolutely. Um, you know, I think it's a good start, and I think the other outlines too for the other things are are good. I um, I definitely think we need to be in the 21st century with edible PDFs fillable PDFs rather, not necessarily editable, but so applicants can go online. I, I still think if someone's coming in for a variance and there's a taxpayer, whether they're commercial or residential, I mean, $100 fee, they're still going to have to buy a building permit and, and everything else. I mean, I I don't know about going up on any fees on that. I mean, I. I get it on the special permit side, maybe a sliding fee scale or different for most of the time, a resident's not going to be asking for a special permit uh, unless they're maybe doing an in-home business or something like that or, you know what I mean, Bernie? Yeah. I just, I mean, I, I know it's, everything's expensive. I mean, I get that, but we're not getting compensated. So, you know. The town well, hall it, is. It is lowering your tax rate. This hundred dollars or hundred. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about. I mean, it, there's a lot of expense on the town hall side, the building department side of it. But that's the building permit fee, the cost of the project. It's kind of like almost a triple tax. So the tax for see the zoning board, tax you see the planning board, and then you got to buy a building permit if they okay it. So I, I mean, I think a hundred dollars is fair or hundred and fifty, but I can't see raising it too much. Um, Mr. Chair, the, oh, sorry. I was just going to say um, the comparable, it was like the median, and that's why we looked at Greenfield, Sunderland, Amherst, Montague, um, and Amherst and Montague had the sliding fee. So say it was a resident, it was a lower cost, but um, if it was a larger based project for square footage or something, 
we would go with the, you know, we could go up to the 150 max. So that yeah. way a resident um, project that maybe a smaller addition, you know, is more along the lines of the $50 fee versus a larger company coming in would, would be 150. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. And so I, I think it's just making um, the standards a requirement. I mean, and we could look at those specific yeah, that, details I mean, from those two. I don't even know out. if the select board uh, sets fees on all this stuff every year annually, like dog licenses, whether it's dog licenses or ZBA fees or I don't, I just, the treasurer collector recommends fees and then, you know what I mean? I don't know. I've never it's, seen a board or taken up I, uh, fees. My only knowledge of any of the fees ever changing went through town meetings. So I think if we make the presentation, if the select board or uh, clerk's town clerk office wanted to bring it forward, then they could put it on the warrant. We could just make the suggestion if we wanted to. I think they just changed some of the like food service and things like that. So yeah, they did it administratively at a meeting. They didn't do it at a town meeting. I know they changed some board of health fees. Yeah. yeah. So well, I don't. We can look into that when we talk to, to Sue and Jen on that. Sure. All right. Anybody got anything else on this? So uh, Alex, make those changes. Uh, I I think John was brought up. I agree with those putting in those space to so change on that sentence. Anything else? Yeah. The, um, one, okay. the one thing I noticed, uh, sorry, Jennifer, do you want to go? Nope. Go right ahead. I can make uh, it. One of the things I, I noticed, um, and Alex, this is no uh, criticism of you, is, is that some of the language uh, did not seem real legal in some respects. Um, and and I, I'd be concerned that it, if it differs at all from what the legal standards are, that it, it's that's kind of like how lawyers like to uh, to take advantage and uh, say, well, the direction said this, but the law said that. So uh, so I would recommend that our council review it prior to ever adopting it to make sure all the language is uh, consistent with our bylaws and the statutory law. Yeah, I think some of them, some of the language was a little more personal. And, you know, just I, I saw that. Way. Yeah, that's what I meant. And that's, it's okay. I mean, you're not a lawyer, so you wouldn't. You well, can't. I think before this goes into effect, we got to make sure that the town council is okay with it. You know what I mean? That's what I mean. I, I think, think it has, should, should get reviewed by, by, by the town council and that, you know, the language is, is, passes his muster yeah that I, that was the goal to have council look it over at the beginning when alex and i first started the process it was us doing a work group to bring you information um it was my goal tonight i thought was getting the feedback from the three documents that were emailed out two months ago um i got a response with commentary from one person on the board that was it um, so it was looking to see what bits and pieces the board liked out of the Worcester and Springfield documents. And then we would take those pieces and create the document from there. So that way we weren't recreating the wheel and then having legal counsel review everything once we, as a board, determined what we liked or didn't like or wanted to have included. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I had forgotten that that was the purpose of this meeting. I, I just kind of thought it was an old business going through it, and it wasn't spelled out. So I didn't, I didn't review those documents before today. That's okay. Did anyone else review them? I reviewed them in August after I saw them. I thought they looked pretty good. I thought there was pros and cons to them, and I never really followed up on it. I thought that we were going to be able to have uh, – some town hall staff here too, which hasn't been able to happen for whatever reason. Um, you know, so, and then Alex just sent this out. Um, so it's, it's good to see that it's, there's some things being done and the efforts being put in by you and Alex, which is excellent. 
uh, different things. And, you know, we can obviously um, put it on next month, um, again, on the application process and see um, see what else people have for input. Um, you know, I don't feel too strongly one way or the other on any of that stuff that we sent out as as far as, you know, no, this looks good or this looks bad or this doesn't look bad. I think the most important part is that we come in, an applicant comes in and they have the ability or they have the ability to fill it out online and they know what's required of them because some people are fortunate enough to be represented by council that deals with this all day. Other people are not in those shoes. So, you know, like, you know, we've had some stuff with, with just residents with variances and stuff that didn't really know exactly what they needed to do or what would help their case, so to speak. Not that they're really pleading a case. Well, they are for a variance. Um, but, you know, knowing things like the plot plan or the, you know, where the pins are, wouldn't, you know, a surveyor's report, you know, where if that is part of a guide that we can give them when they apply for a variance, say that we need it and, you know, or it's not legally required, but, you know, if you are going to encroach on your neighbor uh, or go within the seven feet or, or, or whatever, then, you know, make sure we got a surveyed plot plan here to present with your application because that is, you know, is good. And, you know, make sure if your neighbor is okay with you doing this addition that they come to the meeting with you or they send a letter. Um, you know, and I think that makes things flow a little bit smoother. Hey, Adam, could I make a suggestion for our next meeting yeah. and maybe we can pass this on to, 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 to the town folks that if, that if there's going to be documents that we're expected to look at for, uh, for a meeting that they be attached to the agenda so that we can, I mean, it's like the, uh, it's like the minutes. We all looked at the minutes and reviewed them. Um, if there are documents like what Alex prepared or what Jennifer prepared that we have them attached to the minutes. So even the public can see what we're going to be looking at and reviewing. Sure. I will. I have made requests uh, that you and other members have made. I've asked for those things to be done. And sometimes the missions are accomplished and, and sometimes they're not. And I do understand that some things are available if you look for them, but as volunteer board members, as board members want things specifically sent to them so they don't have to go look for them. That's what we've asked for. And in some occasions that's happened and some it's not, but I will definitely pass that along. Well, it's more so, so to know what we're going to, the topics we're going to be discussing and, and looking for them. I mean, I, if I had known that, I mean, I, I'm Jennifer, you probably mentioned it at the last meeting, but I, I did not remember it that we're going to be looking at those documents today. It's okay. I understand. But yeah, it was, I did mention it. Um, and, but I mean, I understand it's been a few weeks and lots gone on, but that, um, when I sent out the email in August, I don't know if you, I don't think you were here at that meeting. So, um, but I will make sure Sue has a copy to upload to the system of those. I think the other document, um, just why everybody's focused, wasn't necessarily the application. Um, one was also the rules of the Springfield Zoning Board of Appeals because there was some information incorporated in here because this went out to all the applicants and it's found on their website. Um, was what the expectations are from the board. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, for those for those lay people who come in, you know, they can understand, uh, for example, one specifically states petition, and then it says letter addressed to the chairman um, or chair with a full detailed explanation on why you wish to go before the Board of Appeals, include in this petition what you propose to do, et cetera, and then like all these other pieces. Um, so it's just kind of knowing what we as a board want to pick and choose from here. So we're not recreating the wheel for everything. 
Um, I do like what Alex produced by copying out from our own, you know, for the planning board, because I think theirs was updated since their new uh, changes went into effect too for some of the things. Um, so I think it's just, you know, knowing what's needed and what's not. Um, so if, if you need those documents resent, I'll ask Sue to resend them out to everybody and upload them to the online system so that, you know, they can be seen. But if you could please review um, those other documents, I think some of the stuff was included on the outline, but there are a couple pieces um, that were part of the other two applications because we had suggested um, at that initial meeting with the outline that there be a total of three applications so that way people didn't get confused. People knew exactly what they were coming in front of the board for um, and they knew which application to file because I think um, some people in the community, you know, weren't sure just from watching some of the previous meetings or hearings. So. Okay, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. <laughs> Want to set the next meeting? Oh, yeah. Uh, second Thursday in November. Huh? Yeah. Unless there's a... That's Veterans Day? Oh, okay. Oh, well, then that will be a holiday. Yeah. <laughs> Do we need a meeting unless we want to talk about this stuff? Well, I mean, might as well. No, we don't necessarily need a meeting unless someone's coming before the board. But I think, in an effort to keep this moving forward, I think it would be a good idea to have a meeting and not put it off into December. Well, to set a meeting, if it's, we're not going to do it on Veterans Day, then we probably, unless we can do it the 18th of November, we probably need to make sure we have space with the town, you know? Uh, yes. I will uh, I will set the, the next meeting. Is there anybody that has any objections to um, that Wednesday, the 10th? Wednesday, November 10th. I will not be in town that whole week, but it doesn't mean you guys can't meet. I, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to hold up what you guys are doing. Um, uh, Thursday the, the 18th. I'd prefer the 18th. Um, I have a previous engagement on the 10th. All right. I will see if we can make it work on the 18th with the town. Thank you. Very good. No problem. All right, so you want a motion to adjourn? I, I made it. We had a little, no, it was never second, seconded. But second. Oh, go ahead. Jennifer, you got it. And all those Second the motion to adjourn. David Potter, yes. yes. Roll call it. Uh, Bernie Tarowski, yes. Adam Sokolowski, yes. Alex Schmetter, yes. Yeah. John Stubert, yes. Jennifer Remillard, okay, yes. Thank you. Have a good evening. Okay.